In this video, I'll walk through an example of solving a separable differential equation. If dy dx equals 4xy squared and y of 0 equals 1, find an equation for y in terms of x. This first part is our differential equation, dy dx equals 4xy squared. And I'll show you why it's called separable. I'll rewrite it here so we can do something to it. Now, separable means that we want to separate the variables. Separation of variables is, is how you would read this in a textbook. We want to get all of the y's on the left-hand side and all of the x's on the right-hand side. So, what can we do to accomplish that? Well, to get rid of the y on the left-hand side, let's divide by y squared or multiply by the reciprocal of the y, of the y factor that we see here. And when you do that, I'm going to multiply everything. This, the, I put parentheses around the entire equation to signal that I'm multiplying this 1 over y squared by everything. I'm also going to multiply by dx, because here I have dx in the denominator, so I would have to multiply by dx, not divide by dx, but multiply by it, so that I get rid of the dx on the left-hand side, and it'll show up on the right-hand side. So let's see what happens. On the left-hand side, we have 1 over y squared dy. And on the right-hand side, we have 4x dx. At this stage, we are ready to take the integral of each side. And we have all the y's on one side and the, and the x's on the other side. So we're taking the integral with respect to y and an integral with respect to x. And this is really y to the negative 2. So the antiderivative of y to the negative 2 is y to the negative 1. So that's 1 over y multiplied by 1 over negative 1. So we just have a negative. And if you were to take the derivative of this again, you would see that you would end up with 1 over uh, y squared. This equals the antiderivative of 4x would be x squared over 2, and then multiplied by that 4, so we get 2x squared. And I'll take the derivative of that just to check to make sure. Let's see, 2 times 2 is 4, and we get the 4x. Excellent. Plus some constant of integration. that We need to know that we have a constant of integration. And technically, yes, each integral has a constant of integration, but we'd have it added to each side and just, and uh, you can just put it on just one side because you'd end up just subtracting the constant from, from this side and a constant minus, minus a constant is just another constant. Okay, now what we need to do is think about what we're given here, this initial condition. That's what this is called, the initial condition. And it's called the initial condition because the, the information given to you says, well, when x is 0, we get a y value of 1. So that's what this, this notation means, that when x is 0, we get a y, an output of 1. So let's do that. Let's plug in some stuff here. And we'll get then negative 1 over I'm plugging in 1 now for this y value equals 2 times 0 squared plus c. So what does c equal? Well, c equals negative 1. Negative 1 over 1 is just negative 1. So c equals negative 1. So now we know what c is. We don't have the, the full equation yet. We had the general solution here. This is, this is a general solution, but we want a particular solution. When we're given an initial condition, we can actually uh, find what C is. So we know what C is now, and let's keep going with this. And we say negative 1, o negative one over y equals 2x squared minus 1. Now our c is negative 1. 
Now let's solve for y. Okay, so multiply everything by y and you get negative 1 equals 2x squared y minus y. Right, I multiplied through. I'll show that. I multiplied everything through by y. And now we have to uh, factor a y out and we get negative 1 equals y times 2x squared minus 1 and then divide by 2x squared minus 1 and I'm gonna write the y first y equals negative 1 over 2x squared minus 1 or in some books you might see an answer as 1 over 1 minus 2x squared just factoring out a negative 1 there but in any case we have completed what it asked for. We first found a general solution, that, that is when you haven't solved for C yet. If you're given an initial condition, you can then solve for C and then find a particular solution.